Uh, Jace, Jace, Jace. You should have seen this coming, I'm not gonna lie. Like, obviously we've all seen the types of statements he's saying online, on stream, and they're they're wild and they're entertaining. Don't get me wrong. Like everybody he's he's super talented when it comes to being entertaining, whether it be making music or streaming or whatever. Like he just has a very rambunctious personality, let's say. However, what I've seen a lot in social media, especially in like this red pill space, they come up off of saying like super controversial statements and they blow up, get all this clout, but there are negatives to it. People think that like, oh, no publicity is bad publicity, but yes, you get famous, but then like say, look at Andrew Tate, like they started looking into his uh after he started talking about how he lives in a corrupt government how he could do anything he wants because he has hella money romania was like oh okay you think that you can do whatever you want like i'm gonna i'm gonna put you in jail real quick and they started poisoning him or whatever i don't know if that was true but like sneeko and then uh fresh and fit they're saying hella shit online that is controversial obviously and then what happens their youtube and like all their platforms get banned or demonetized so i'm not saying like you should censor yourself necessarily but i'm just saying there is always a cost with everything you say and i honestly i think it's like a really easy thing to do to be super controversial and just yell obscenities but like it's not a good long-term strategy and i think this is what like even in life i'm not even talking about just business right because now allegedly we'll watch the clip in a second jace is losing custody of his kids i don't think he's losing full custody i think he's just going to co-parenting i don't know if he's with his girls still or what's going on he's a rapper so maybe he got like hella side chicks and whatnot but now he has to move back to his mom's house all sorts of things like label issues potentially because he almost pulled like a kanye in a way he was like coming at the jews and i think he's muslim so i get what he's saying in that like they're currently fighting in the east i have no dog in this fight i don't give a sh they can do whatever they want i don't give a shit. <laughs> i don't even believe in religion or or necessarily i i don't I don't know what's going on, so I'm not going to fight for any religion where, like, you know, I, I'm not invested into it. Maybe one day, though. But I'm going to play the clip where he was super controversial, and then he's going to talk about in another stream where he also got his label, like, told him to get off of social media because he was... One, he's also been beefing with everybody. And again, that is good i guess like for publicity and attention and, and clout but i even talked about this a couple weeks ago i'm like you're punching down at this point like you're beefing with like 16 year olds and shit like there's there's no point at a, like get your life together and i think he's currently ruining it i don't know if he has like bipolarism or or something where he can't i don't know stop his emotions from thinking about something before he actually says it being calculated with it but again he's very talented just it's sad to see but i mean low-key kind of deserves it for what he's been saying lately beef when everybody it's just like very irrational thinking but anyway here's what he said hopefully my video doesn't get banned for him saying all this because i didn't do it mad right now like i can't even i can't even be serious Drew dropping crazy fuck them jews nigga i'm not dead homeboy i'm so teed up right now i'll say anything bro i support trump i hate gays bro what more can i say to piss the world off bro what can I okay okay so you know what now that he's prefaced it with that like he's trying to piss the world off i feel like he i don't even know if he necessarily means all the things that he's saying i think that he's just saying it to to prove that like everybody just gets mad at controversial statements even if the person who's saying it even like doesn't even mean it you know what i mean he's just saying it for the act of saying it it doesn't even mean he he actually means it i said to piss the world off bro i will fucking mass genocide every homosexual out there <laughs> what the? 
I was not expecting that. What mom can I say to piss everybody off? Please just let me know. Oh God, please just let me know. Oh God, just let me know. I will hang every fucking game. I will fucking tie him up with a noose and fucking hang they bitch ass. Oh God, my nigga. Oh my God. And this is why rappers should not get on stream, bro. Cause, cause at a certain point, like I can't imagine he's making as much money from streaming as he is on music, but now he's like taking down his musical career just from the streaming for like a couple extra bucks every month. Damn. But obviously I knew he was joking. He probably doesn't have, well, actually from his previous statements, he might actually not like gay people. Because uh, he uses an insult a lot, but I feel like a lot of people do that just in general Like they say like stop being gay, bro But really it's like you're stop being lame just because the meaning of the word has taken on Being lame rather than actually being homosexual. I feel like most people don't actually care if you're gay like if actually gay but anyway, so I didn't really think that was all, all that bad. He was he was just saying the controversial statements trying to get people mad even if he doesn't believe it but anyway now he talks about how he's potentially losing custody of his daughter full custody that is he's moving back to his mom's i don't know what that means does that mean like his label's not paying him or they owe he owes them money for the recoups or he's just not making enough money off streams or maybe i don't know maybe his landlord kicked him out or some shit. i don't know let's see nigga nobody brought up paying rent that is really like taking a toll on my mental especially as a grown man i'm 20 going on 21 years old it's going to it's about to be to the point to where i'm back living with my mom and alaya living with me and my baby mama living with her mom and lonnie live over there and i'm gonna have to give all my pets away um so now it's that so now i'm going from having custody full custody of all my kids to co-parenting because of the things i said yesterday now i'm now i'm going for i can't get no more money from from the label they even threw it in my face that i was stuck with them yeah okay there we go this is exactly like the kanye situation he started going after jewish people and then all the banks were freezing his accounts adidas wasn't paying out his his dividends and whatnot this is crazy that just goes to show, like, don't come after the Jews, bro. They're all powerful. I'm not going to lie. I got a lot of friends that are Jewish, though. They, uh, it's because they're really, they're really strong with their, like, it's probably one of the most strong religions, like, tighten it. I think Muslims also, but they don't fuck around when you're coming after them. They're family. Uh. Now I'm finna be back living with my mama. I'm finna lose all my pets. I'm gonna have to go take them all to shelters. My kid, I ain't, Lonnie ain't even gonna be able to live with me. My third baby ain't gonna be able to. Why can't she live with him though? Is like the government getting involved or something? Because my mama still got a full ass house, bro. Cause once I'm back living with my mama, that's right back, bunk bed right over Blake in his room, you know? I'm a grown ass man. It took me to say one thing for you to finally pick up my motherfucking phone calls. Then you go throw it in my face, nigga. That shit's stupid, bro. Oh God, nigga, this 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 shit is evil. That's why I try to get away from it. Long story short, that's how it's going for me. I thought I was gonna be able to bond thirty out. I ain't even been picking up his calls because I don't even know how to explain that to him, like. I don't even know how to explain that to him. Damn. I don't even know how to explain that to some kids. Like, oh, this is why we going back living with Gigi. You know? Man. As much as I don't necessarily like what Jace has been doing, I can't say that he actually meant it. As I said before. So... I don't think that cutting off people's money and everything, especially if they're in a contract, he should be owed whatever he deserves. 
So like, don't cut off his money so that he has to move back with his parents. But maybe he's not making as as much money as he needs. Like he's not recouping because I feel like with streamings, with without doing shows, which I can't imagine Jace is really doing all too many shows, that he might not be able to recoup because streaming only pays like point zero zero four dollars per stream, at least on Spotify. So, but now he's getting canceled basically. But the worst type of canceling, not just the on social media, on Twitter, where people like even make you go trending or just start yelling or about how bad of a person you are. Like now it's, it's, it's coming to financials. So he's not even have enough money to stay in his house, I guess. But I still want to know, like, is the government involved? Like, I feel like he should have enough money to hold him down for at least like a couple more months while this shit blows over. But I guess the label mad too, like, <laughs> The music industry is weird though. It is like they actually try to control your life.